So hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an origami video. I'm going to be showing you how to make this like dinner set. Here's like a cup, here's a plate right here, here's a spoon, and here's a napkin. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, let's get started. So what you need is just paper, and I'm using a 6 inch paper, 15 by 15 centimeters, about 6 inches. So... First, you want to start white side up, and you want to fold in half. Okay. And then, you just make your creases sharp, and then uh, fold in half again. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to fold these points to the center. The video might be a little long, but I'll try to do it kind of quickly. But not so quick that you guys won't be able to um, follow. So just keep doing it for all the sides. I think this is called the blend space. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but yeah, I think it's called the blend space. Okay. Now we turn over and we do the same thing except with the, yeah, yeah, we just do the same thing. Bring the corners to center. All of them. And, yep. Okay, now what, now what you will see on the other side of this, oh, sorry. Okay, what you see on the other side of this is these, like, flat things. So, we're gonna, um, start with the spoon. So, you can pick any flap you want. I'll just pick this flap. So what you want to do is unfold this and this. And then unfold this. And then you want to fold this point to the center right here. And then you want to fold it back like this. And, I mean, no, sorry. You want to uh, do this and then do this. And then what you want to do is fold it in half. I mean, don't fold this part. Just um, fold in half on this. And then just do this. So it looks like this. Okay. And then you fold this in half. I mean, not in half. You just fold it in this side. And it kind of looks like maybe a house or something. Okay, then after that, you want to fold this point to um, right here. Yeah, pick it up. Okay. Okay, so now this, um, I mean, wait, okay, now you need to fold it to here. Okay, now this flap will become the spoon. So what you want to do is open it up like this and then squash it. Like this. Okay. So it will look like that. And now what you want to do is um, fold. Uh, okay, let me put it up. You want to fold this edge to here. To the, uh, this, this edge to the center crease. So you want to just fold it like this. Just like that. Oh. Uh. Yeah, just fold it like this, and yeah, do the same with the other side. Okay, now you want to unfold these, lift this up, lift this up, and then just fold these to the center. Except you want this point to become like a point. You want this to become a point, so you might need to adjust your creases a little bit. So you want it to do that. So it's becoming more of a point. 
Yeah, sorry if you can't really see, but all you're doing is like adjusting this, these like flat um edges to make a point like this. It doesn't need to become an exact point, but I guess that's fine right there. Now you just fold it down and then, um, okay, this is maybe kind of hard. So you put your finger and then you put it in here, like right here, hold it, hold this edge and you hold this edge. And you pull, pull apart, and then you fold along this crease right here, right here, and then you just fold it back. Just fold it back like this. So the, you just hid the point. So it looks like this now. Okay, so now we got kind of like the basic shape of the spoon, kind of. So now... What you want to do is you want to fold this point like this. I mean, not point. You want to fold these edges like this, like that. So that will be the handle. And then you lift this. Just lift this up. And then you just squash like, like that. Cause it's kind of hard to do it while looking at the camera a little bit, but... I'm gonna squash like that. Okay, it might not be perfect, and not it might not be like a perfect squash, but I'm gonna make it like as good looking as possible. So if you kind of um, so as you can see here, you just do it and then you squash it like that. So yeah, right here, and you do that. So that's it's like that now. Now it just looks like a um. A spoon with a point. So, what you want to do now is, uh, you don't want to rip the paper. So, you see the this paper here, and you see this paper here, like right there. You want to kind of lift it out, so it looks like that. Kind of lift it out, and then do the same thing with the other side. So lift it out, lift it. Yeah, so now it looks like this a little bit. So now, you just fold it up a little bit like that so it's there's some space between here and here. And then you want to fold this point back as like as much as you want. You uh I guess I will fold it back like this much. So just like as much as you want, as much as you want because oh sorry. Just yeah, I just folded it back that much. It doesn't really matter, but you just do what you think looks right with the spoon. And then what you want to do is kind of just round it out, round the spoon out. And, yeah, just round it out. Just fold the pointy edges, um, like, backwards. And then... These edges, you can just, I guess, kind of fold them. Okay. So, these are the, this is, I mean, not these are, the, this is the spoon. But, if you want to kind of round it out a little bit more, like this kind of looks like, not really a circle, kind of looks like this thing shape. So, then you would want to fold these edges back a little bit more so it will look like a spoon just fold them all the way back so not all the way but just as much as it seems good and yeah if you work make it work to make it look pretty good and and it will look pretty good so that's my spoon um but if you work pretty hard on it, it should look like this. Okay. So, now we are going to make this part, this white part, brown. Like, see, this is gray over here. It's not white. So, we're going to do it here. So, what we are going to do, I mean, if you don't, I mean, I guess this is optional. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But I like it, so I will do it. So, 
what you want to do is unfold this flap like this where the spoon is and then you want to open this flap and then fold along this crease so it's super close to the spoon right here so yeah so and then you want to make it le at least like less whiteness like, like ever <laughs> just like the least white this this way is is fine but like the white um next to the spoon is not fine so you want to do this okay now after you do that you want to fold the spoon thing you want to not much you want to fold it like this so basically just squashing it like that okay now what you want to do is fold it back okay fold this back up and yeah there it is and now it's brown and then this flap you just fold it uh back right there it's fine that since um it's fine that it's like this now it's this flap is like it's fine that this part of the flap is gone because it's fine yeah <laughs> okay so now if you want to keep this white thing here you can but uh i want to put it away so what you, all you need to do is maybe unfold this flap a little bit and then just fold it back so just fold it back as much as you want and then you just put the flap back in place and yeah there it is uh i didn't really fold it back that much back a little bit more yep so here is the finished spoon so yeah let's uh go on to the plate that spoon took some time <laughs> so the plate's a lot easier in my opinion um all you need to do really so basically what you're doing with the plate is you're kind of like unfolding the model so but not all of it so you take this up then you do the same thing with the spoon you open this flap and then you open this flap, but not all the way, otherwise the spoon will come undone. So, like, be careful. And then lift this flap up. So, it's like this. And then on this point, you just want to push it up like that. And then you want to pinch on this line. Okay, wait, you want to pinch mount fold on this line and this line right here. And just fold it like that. So it looks like this. Now what you want to do is just fold this point to like right here. And then let this flap come out. So here is the plate. Yes, it does not look like a plate. is because it's not rounded yet. So you can just round it so it looks like this. But I'm guessing you guys should know how to do that. So I'll, I'll, do, I'll come back to that later. So now we are going to be doing this napkin. Now, the, I would like to put the napkin over here. So I recommend putting the napkin over here since the, I mean, yeah, just, yeah, put it here. Put it on the one where it's like half. So what you want to do for the napkin is you want to fold this point up as much as you want, like um, how big do you want your napkin is will depend on this fold. So your napkin will be this. If you put your fold this big, your napkin will probably be really big. Um, and then if you put it like this, your napkin will be really small. So I'm just going to fold this point up here to make it like a medium napkin. Because I like the medium napkin. I think it looks good. Maybe I'll fold it up a little bit more actually. But... Yeah, so it's going to be the size of my napkin. And we are going to fold like this. So just pinch, pinch wherever you want your napkin, like however skinny you want your napkin. So I want my napkin maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe like that, yeah. My nap that I guess that's good, like how I did, had it before. Okay, and you just fold it like this. And just maybe a little bit like that. It's kind of hard to do it with the 
looking at the screen, not really at the origami. But sometimes I look at the origami too, so yeah, it's good. Okay, so yeah, fold it like that. And then do the same thing with the other side. Try to make it like equal to that, to the other one. I'm not that equal. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just do it like this. This video is getting a little too long, so. Might make it a little bit sloppy, but you guys get the idea. Okay, I'm gonna make a really skinny napkin. <laughs> Way skinnier than the other napkin I made in my other model. Okay, there we go. Now, now what you want to do is you want to fold this like back so it's brown or the other any other color that you want it to be. You can just fold that up like this so now it's brown this whole thing is brown instead of white and don't worry if you don't get it all the way to the edge like right here if you leave some white it's fine because we're going to fold it like inside so it's fine just fold it as much as it, it does without ripping because you don't want it to rip so that yeah but maybe you want to keep it a little bit okay yeah I guess it's a little, it's just, I guess that's good. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to, uh, wait, one second, let me put it, okay. Now what you want to do is fold this flap backwards, and you just fold it as much as you want. I fold it as much as, like, where my white stuff is, like, on the bottom, where the white stuff is on the bottom, or any other color. Okay. I fold it up to where there's um where there's no more white on the bottom so it looks kind of clean like this okay now what you want to do is obviously fold this tip back and you're done with your napkin well not fully because this kind of looks weird <laughs> uh, just like a napkin in just huge space so now what you want to do is you're gonna open this up and then fold, fold this like this, like just fold it more like that. So it looks like this and it's closer to the center crease. You can make it right to the center crease if you want. Okay, so now you fold the middle right here, but don't fold the edges like this. So what you wanna do is um, kind of lift this spoon flap and then fold it like this and then fold the spoon flap back and so it looks like this and then with the other one i'm going to lift this up kind of lift it up yep and then just make this fold right there and then put it back down so we got this plate the spoon and the napkin completes all we have to do now is make the cup so the cup will be one side colored and then one side not colored. So yeah. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did with this uh, plate. So we're gonna lift it up and unfold this corner. Be careful not to like unfold the plate and then unfold this corner a little bit, but not like all the way. So now what I wanna do is open this flap up. Okay, open it up and then just push up along this point right here push it up okay be careful not to rip the model okay so now you fold it along right here the pinch marks along the pinch marks or not the pin, pinch marks well along the lines and just pinch it okay so it looks like this Oops, okay. Now, okay, now since you got these pinch mark things done, you want to refold the model like this. Okay. Now, you want to, yeah, fold like this and just do the same thing as you did with the plates. So, fold. Whew, okay. 
Okay, one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so, yeah, what you want to do is, yeah, fold these and then just fold it like that. Fold it like this. So, it's like the plate. Okay, now what you want to do is do this and then just fold this to the center, which is like, or just fold it like next to the plate. So, it looks like that. Okay, so it looks like this. So, sorry for the confusion, guys, but like all you really need to do is do the plate next to the plate. So it looks like another plate, but it's not. Okay. Now what you want to do is... Okay, so one side's colored and one side's um, white. So what you want to do is fold this colored side to the white side. And then you just fold it as much as uh, you want, like how big you want your cup. Like if you want your cup to be this big... Or if you want your cup to be this big or like this big. Right? I think you don't you shouldn't do this. I think you do this and then fold up. So I'm just gonna do fold like this and then fold I guess up to here. Uh maybe a little too big. Yeah, I think this is a good cup size. Right here. Okay. So actually maybe a little bit more. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is Fold this, fold like these edges forward. So yeah, just fold it forward and then just pinch it. So fold forward, fold it forward. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Now what you want to do is go put your finger inside the cup and Kind of spread it out a little bit. I get not spread it out. Make it like like that. Yeah, do that to it, and then do the this other side's good. Okay, so now what you want to do is just fold these tips inside. Okay, and then yep, fold this one inside too. Okay, so. And then you just do this to make it open it up a little bit. So, yeah, that's the cup. So, now, um, yeah, let's round out the, um, plate. Um, but, uh, just one more thing. If you want, you could fold the cup like this and make it closer, but I don't want to. I want to keep it like this. So, let's round the plate up. What you want to do first is fold this back fold this back just as much as you want as much as it looks right just like with just like you did with the spoon and then now this one's a little maybe hard but fold it up a little bit and or not fold it up pull it up a little bit and then fold this back okay and then pull this one up a little bit and then fold it back a little bit, or as much as you want. So, okay, I think this is good. Uh, maybe a little too much. <laughs> okay. Or you could just, like, inside reverse, just reverse fold it inside like this. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Now, what you want to do is, like, round the corners out. So it's like this, and like this. And like this, and like this, and like this. So yeah, you just keep rounding the corners out. So it looks more, more and more like a plate. Okay. I need to round this out harder. Fold it, okay. Now here, fold it. Boom. There's your kind of, there's your plate. Wait a second, let me round that out. Okay, so here's your dinner set, I guess. Here's it, here it is. And on the other side, it's a, a thing. <laughs> um, maybe if you fold these in like that and like that and like this. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so there's, I think, one more step left. 
which is to kind of round out this dinner set. So just fold it back and yeah, just keep folding it back. Uh, definitely this one fold it back. Okay. Uh, squish it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, squeeze. Okay, that's kind of hard. Okay. Now this one, fold it back. And then fold the spoon back as much as you want. Okay. Um, and if you want, it's kind of like a, a bonus that, uh, yeah, it's a bonus thing. It Just fold these corners back a little bit more. And you can make yourself maybe some legs for the table. So, or for, and just make it into a table. Dinner set table. Or just a table with a diet with stuff. <laughs> okay, so that's, I guess, one leg. And then you can just pinch, pinch them. Maybe do a little rabbit ear. Pinch them like that. And then fold this up, maybe. Okay, and then pinch it like this. And the last one right here. Pinch it. Like that. And uh, the spoon is still good. Yep. Okay. So yeah, here it is, the table, dinner, thing, breakfast, whatever you want to call it, um, thing, jig, <laughs> and it's like a little table now, because we got some legs on it, so yeah, um, this model is designed by me, I don't think anyone else has made this before. But if anyone else has, uh, you can tell me in the comment section below. But I don't think so. So, yep, here it is. Just make sure the white thing's not there on the spoon. Here, you just, yeah. Pull the napkin up. Make the, uh, make the, um, um, cup, yeah, cup good. And, yeah, so I guess this is a thing whatever you want to call it dinner set table thing thing ding 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 okay um and there's also kind of like a bonus so this thing can kind of act like a flicker so let me show you guys oops okay i will do it with the um no okay i'll try to do it with this okay it's a flicker slash frisbee i can't really do a flicker right now because um it's just not really, I can't really do it um, because I can't use two hands because the phone's not staying. <laughs> so here's a frisbee. Yeah, it's, it, it flies okay. Let's see this one. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and bye.